Anthony Creek with DTG Printer Parts here. Today we are presenting to you the Bajujet LX. And we're very excited to be carrying this printer. And in a few seconds, I will tell you why. First, we'll start with the basics. Basics, but not so basic. We've got a circulating system that turns on when the printer is off so it constantly circulates it also agitates the white ink it filters the white ink so you get a good clean white ink running through the system at all times we've got a cool little LED lighting system so you can see what you're doing when it comes to maintaining the printer and watching it print we've got our z-axis down and up automatic We've got sensors to detect the bed, and as you know, with DTG, that is a big concern because of head strikes. You don't have to worry about all that. You can, you can know when the height of the platen is too high. You hear a beep, it'll automatically send the board back, and then you can adjust, send back in, and then you can also micro-adjust if you need to. by our little micro adjuster here. So you can adjust as needed, micro adjusting. It's really cool to get a precise print so you can get as close to the print head as possible. And of course, we've got really nice platens. We've got a really nice hoop that you can adjust. You can adjust with an Allen wrench if you want it tighter or a little bit more loose for hoodies you can also thread as well so you can put your garment through if you need to or you can just lay it on top of the platen the hoops hold really nice and tight so you don't get any flopping around now on this platen I do have the same image and we'll get to the reason why in a little bit but I just want you to know that even though it's the same image, one is a little bit more saturated than the other, okay? And that's the reason why I have uh, these two images. You notice that this one is a little bit lighter than the other. This one is darker. It's because I can adjust um, the brightness of the image inside the rip, okay? And in another video we do have an explanation of the maintenance and how easy it is to do on this printer so we won't go in that today it does have a wet capping system and you can also cap it without using a wet cap so you'll be able to clean the wiper blade and the capping top very easily also, we've got a lot of different platens to choose from. We've got a three up for your chest prints. We've got a four up for, up for the left chest prints. Two up for like a toddler or a youth size. We've got a shoe platen. We've got your normal uh, adult platen. And then your sleeve platen. So you've got uh, one that is very long. And also, one that we are working on that is a little over 12 and a half inches wide. Now, going back to the platens and the axis, we can print up to about an inch and a quarter in height. So we can lower a lot. This allows us more clearance. So for items like hoodies are no problem at all. I love printing on this printer with hoodies. It's very easy for me. No matter what board I use, I can thread them, I can just lay them on top. But since I have so much clearance, it makes it so much easier for this A3 to do. Now we can get into the rip. Okay. The rip is really easy to use. You just upload your photo to the rip. You can just click on it. You can choose which shirt board you want to use. You can make your own custom template. 
You can do the two in one, three, four, sleeve, etc. You can flip your image. You can make it go a little bit more up, a little bit more down. You can make it more wide. You can make it do as many passes as you need to. You can change from inches to millimeters very easily. You can edit your white layer. Okay, we can shrink the borders. So uh, this is basically uh, kind of like shrinking the white around um, the image. If you need to, if you have something that's kind of pixelated, this also helps. A soft shrink is for gradient images. Hard shrink is for square or rectangle images. Brightness, of course, is brightness. How much, how bright do you want the image to be? On a black t-shirt, we don't really have to uh, edit any CMYK. We can just leave it at its normal settings. If you do want to saturate the CMYK a little bit more, you can uh, move this marker up. The more you go to the right, the more darker it is. You can see exactly how much ink or how much it will uh, intensify by going up or down. You can leave it at the default setting, which is normally what the picture is when you drag and drop it. Now you can knock out black. So for those of you that want to knock out black in photos, all you have to do is just click on the black section. You can check the uh, box for the knockout black if you need to knock out black. So it's totally up to you on what you want to do with your print job. You can see exactly how much black you're knocking out. So it's a great little preview. Also going back to the layout. Now, if we uh, just wanted to print CMYK only, we can just select CMYK only. If we wanted to print just white only, we can print white only. We can do a one pass white and CMYK at the same time, or we can do two pass white then CMYK, or two, two passes of CMYK to get really good saturation but again we can edit the CMYK and saturate it a little bit more and we can probably get the same results it's just totally up to you what you want to do now we have the resolution okay we've got high quality production low and draft draft is the 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 lowest of the lows but normally we would choose production quality and that would give us a really good white on uh, dark shirts and we can also choose our resolu uh, resolution for the CMYK passes okay so we can choose high uh, quality production low and drop which this allows us to uh, lower the quality and make a quicker print and use less ink which is really cool bi-directional or unidirectional we can change very easily and then we can also see our print jobs. So if you have some past print jobs here, you can just click on them. And whatever settings you had on those, it will save those settings. So we can just click here. And we can see exactly how far down, what our height was, what our width was, how much white we had. Okay, the soft shrink borders hard shrink these are also like a choke so the act is, is is like a choke if you need them for some reason okay we can see our cmyk if we if we wanted to just change this again we could so you know like i said it's totally up to you on what you want to do and how you want your image to look at 
in the overall result in the end. Okay, so these are all the features of the Baju Jet. We think it's a great value, very economical, a lot of great features jam-packed into one great printer, and this is the reason why we're carrying it. Such a great production printer and a great price for the A3. If you would like to ask any questions or need some uh, direct-to-garment advice on where to go for something like this, you can always contact us through our website, which is dtgprinterparts.com. You can add us on Facebook, DTG Printer Parts. You can also email us via our website. I'm Anthony Creek, and thank you for watching.